My name's Aaron Cairo. I'm a sponsored skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area, and today I'm gonna teach you how to do a heel flip. Welcome to week number nine of the boot camp. I hope you guys have been following along with this entire video series and having an absolute blast learning how to skateboard. Every single Tuesday, a new video going live at 10 a.m. We actually have a video every single day, but this tutorial series specifically will be every single Tuesday at 10 a.m. for 10 weeks. 10, 10, 10, and you're gonna learn more than 10 tricks. Isn't that exciting? Okay, so today we got the heel flip. The heel flip position is right here just like this. Your front foot is just turned on that board just like that, and your back foot is back here, not on the edge of the tail, but a little bit in this back pocket just like that. And that is the heel flip position. You're sort of evening out the front foot there and the back foot there. It's really important because on the heel flip, as you bend down to get ready to pop up for this trick, your board even has this little bendy tension thing that it does that legend has it helps the board do the heel flip, which is really cool. And um, yeah, I hope that that little tip right there helped you because it actually helped me a lot just understanding that little point of tension. One foot here, one foot there and the board will sort of flex. And then as you pop up, it sort of releases that flex and then your heel flip flick gets in there. Man, we're getting ahead of ourselves. So we just covered the foot position. There you go, it looks just like that. Now you got it. Practice step one of the heel flip. All right, so you have your back foot on the tail and your front foot is there and you're just practicing that flick as many times as possible. Just watch the motion of this foot and see how it flicks and repeat that. This is probably something that you're gonna to have to do a lot. Maybe it's five minutes of attempts of the full heel flip once you're ready to try it, and then five minutes of just repeating this action with your foot. You can even sit down, watch a movie, sit there, have your back foot on the tail, and your front foot just repeating this. Dances with wolves, baby. Three hours. Just keep that going. And then by the end of it, guess what? You learned heel flips with wolves. Okay, so that is practice step numero uno you're getting that flick down. And then the next one, you're going to actually pop it, pop the tail, flick the board with your front foot, get it to do that motion, and land only with your front foot. This is my new theory of all the practice steps. Step off with your back foot, land with your front foot. This is the easiest way to do it because the more practice you get on flipping that board, it's a huge repetition thing. Then from there, all you need to do is step on with your front foot. Some people say, oh, you should just practice, just, just throw a heel flip and land. You don't wanna practice taking your back foot off, they say, because they say you're practicing an incorrect thing, but you have to have some way to build yourself up. Otherwise, you're going into just making the board do this motion, and you could land here, you could land here. There are so many things that can go wrong with the heel flip, and if you continuously land like this, Man, your feet are gonna hurt, you're gonna wanna give up, it's gonna be too hard. So it's worth it to practice this practice step, stepping off your back foot, getting the flick, making it roll around. Just do that many times. I always like to, to play games like, I'll go, if I do this practice step five times in a row, then I'll try a heel flip. If I miss it one time, then I'll have to repeat until I do it five times in a row. Maybe little things like that can help you learn it too. Okay, so you got the pop, the flick, it's rolling around, you're stepping off your back foot, but you're making it flip routinely, consistently. You got it, it's rolling well. Now you're feeling pretty confident. So now from this point, all you need to do is pop it, flick it, bend your back knee, have it rotate around and land with both feet. Very, very good, very key, very vital, very excellent step. Pop, flick, bend your back knee, and then put your front foot and your back foot on. Actually, when you're doing the full trick, you will be catching the board with your back foot, but I really want to emphasize the importance of the pop, flick, and bend your knees, bring them up, have that board roll around, and then you'll catch it with your back foot, put your front foot on, land, and roll away. So these super slow motion shots right here, you see the pop, you see the flick coming around, now the board is spinning ever so slowly. Your knees are bent up in the air. Your back foot catches it, and your front foot on that front part of the board, 
you land it and roll away like a boss. So these practice steps, they are very, very simple and they are very good. They just need to be done many, many, many times. Now I am going to point out, this is the first flip trick that you're getting into. And this one can be extremely difficult to go from just a pop shove and a front shove or a front side 180 or a back side 180 to actually popping, flipping the board and catching it can be extremely difficult. And I want you to be prepared for some level of frustration as you're going through this. So the key point to get through that frustration and to fully learn the trick is to always go, like you have to understand, I'm trying this trick, it's getting too hard. You have to understand the way the system is built is you go earlier to an earlier practice step. So do the earlier practice step, maybe step two, pop it, flick it, step off with your back foot and just repeat that a ton of times until you go, wow, I really, really have that step down. Now I'm ready to attempt it again. That's what I was saying in the earlier part of the video. Maybe it's five minutes of tries, five minutes of practice step, repeat. And if you do that and you keep it going, you'll get it. I mean, it might take a four hours straight of trying to land this. The other piece of this that we haven't spoken much about on this tutorial series yet is the mental aspect you have to now get over this barrier of this board is spinning underneath me. How am I going to keep my feet on? How am I going to catch it? How do I know I'm not going to land primo? So and one thing that can help with the mental aspect is wear a helmet, elbow pads, knee pads, wrist pads. Have all of your padding up so that then you can focus on doing the trick rather than focus on trying to avoid an injury. It's very key you just focus on what that skateboard is gonna do, the movement underneath you, very, very good. You have your gear on, you're ready to roll, you popped it, you flicked it, you're getting it rolling around, and you've built up your confidence. And if you go and you get to the heel flip and you're like, this is just far too hard, go back and do all of the earlier tricks. Really, really master them, and then continue working on the heel flip. The other thing that I will say, and this is the only time I will say this in this whole series, because week 10, the next week, next Tuesday, is the kickflip. And if you want to skip over the heel flip, you can. You could go to kickflip. I personally learned the heel flip first. Some people find the kickflip easier. It's kind of one of those things that's kind of like loose trucks versus tight trucks. Some people really think it's easier to ride loose trucks. Some people think it's easier to ride tight trucks. So in that sort of a scenario, we go, now we're getting into the stage of it's an opinion. I put heel flip earlier in the series because I think it more closely resembles the motion of an ollie than the kick flip because the kick flip is a very heavy emphasis on your toe, which we'll learn next week. And the heel flip is more of an emphasis on, well, the heel, hence the heel flip. But really it's more of an ollie off the front side diagonal section of the board. You really want to focus on flicking your board up and off in this direction. It's very key, it's very exact. You can even take your fingernail and make a line on your grip tape just like that. And then you can just follow along and you can go, I'm basically doing an ollie and kicking off in that direction. And then that will help you get that flick down. All right, so that's what I have for you here on week number nine of the boot camp. I hope you guys are having a blast. If you need more help learning how to ride your skateboard or any questions at all, join Braille Army Plus. It's one low monthly membership fee and you can get all the help you need from me or the other skateboard coaches that are on there. You can direct message me your videos right on the Discord server and I will message you back and say, move your feet here, try this practice attempt, try doing it like this and I'll do my very absolute best to help you learn that trick and get to the next level in your skateboarding. The whole point of this and all of the things that we're doing, literally every single video we make here at BrailleSkateboarding.com has the purpose of bringing new people into skateboarding, a new audience. Anyone out there that might have never been interested in skateboarding before, we're saying, hey, check this out. Look at this weird board, this funny video. And then once we got them there, we say, learn how to ride a skateboard. You guys know what to do. 
get on a skateboard, get a skateboard at braille-skateboarding.com and get started learning. So you guys, the Braille Army, are the people who are learning. And it's important that as you learn a new trick, post it on your social media, tell your friends, say, hey, look, I'm learning how to skateboard with Aaron Cairo in his new series, Boot Camp, and you should too. Jump on there and let's get more new people skating. No matter where you live, no matter who you are, no matter what your background is, your beliefs or anything like that, you can have a blast learning how to ride a skateboard and I hope you do. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and this whole tutorial series. Check out all those other videos right there. Subscribe, like, leave a comment below and you, yes you, learn to ride a skateboard. We have everything you need at BrailleSkateboarding.com.